<laughs> Just given the way the season's gone, how frustrating was that to happen again in this last game? Oh, it's really frustrating. I mean, uh, it's frustrating, you know. But I think I've said it before. I think you, know, you win as a team, you lose as a team. Um, as a coach, you you work to teach the players, coach the players, support the players, you know, and do those kinds of things. I haven't had three plays like that in my whole career, much less in one season. But, you know, when the, the personnel starts to bleed off and there's inconsistencies in personnel, we never really had the same lineup, uh, you know, a couple games in a row, and there's a lot of young players. I mean, every guy on the backside of the kickoff team was a true freshman tonight. And, uh, you know, but the bottom line is they're in the game and they got to make the plays, and i got to try to help them find a way to make those plays. So. How much blame in that situation do you feel is, it should be on your shoulders? Well, as a coach, it always starts with you, you know. I mean, uh, it, it is, you know, you know, I mean, it starts with the coach. I mean, that's, that's kind of where it is. And then, you know, um, extreme ownership. You know, there's things that, 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 that I look at that I got to do better. And then I think, you know, as we go into it, the, the players got to look and, and uh, see things that they got to get better. Um, I think I noted with you guys the last time we talked, uh, you know, we took a lot of uh, uh, strength out of watching that Ohio State Cotton Bowl team that we played because they had two kickoffs returned within three weeks on them for a touchdown to Maryland kid and Saquon Barkley. And, and uh, you know, I talked to friends of mine that worked there, and we, we talked about how to fix it and uh, um, and got it done. We fixed it against Cal. We fixed it against UCLA. Um, obviously, the, those teams, once once we ran down and tackled them at the 20, they fair caught the ball and, and whatever. So, uh, yeah, it was significantly frustrating to have that happen tonight. The first couple, we covered them great, you know. So, um, bottom line, that should not happen with that kind of regularity. I mean, that's just, uh, it's not good. Clay said he told the guys in the second half, be ready to come down score and then maybe be ready for an onside kick because they need to steal a possession. What was the uh -huh. conversation he had with you, I guess, at halftime? And why was that the play you called for Michael to, to get that onside kick? I mean, because it's just a play we're good at, you know? Uh, you know, all these plays that you see us run periodically, we carry them all the time. And you just try to use them at the right time. You know, it's, it's always a risk reward deal. You know, I mean, you know, the question is, you know, what if you do it and don't get it, and then you get it to the 50, then there's questions on that. Well, what if you do do it and get it? And, you know, the bottom line is, uh, you maybe heard people say scared money doesn't make money. I mean, you know, I'll tell you this about Clay Help. At the end of the day, you know, you know that was, that was ultimately his call. He just says, hey, let's do it, and it's my job to make sure we can execute it. And then it's the player's job to, you know, make sure that, you know, something that you practice on the practice field that you can actually do under the bright lights. Um, I was really proud of the guys the way they executed that. In terms of fixing things from here, do you feel like you're the right person to, to do that? Of course. Of course. Um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it's, it's players, system, and coaches. And take hard looks at all of them. Yeah. You're good. You touched on this. Thanks, Sean. Guys, I think we got this here.